with regards to AUA uh, 2025, what you presented mm -hmm. was this particular subset population of EGFR 40 to 60 with regards to the PATCR and EFS. What was seen and your thoughts here? Yeah, so the, the update that we gave at the AUA, part of it was the disease-free survival, which is the cystectomy population. And I, I think that's a critical group because that's what a lot of people have compared to, for example, with Vesper, uh, which was just the cystectomy population. And that, in that point, we'd talk about the PATH CR, which was 42%, mm -hmm. which you know essentially is equivalent to what Vesper is. And again, it's the same. The hard thing about comparing across trials is, again, the numerator and the denominator. But in here, these are the people who got a cystectomy. And that's around 80% of the overall ITT from Niagara. We also did report on the 19% some 19 of patients that had a reduced GFR between 40 and 60. PATH response, 32% compared to 16% in the control arm. Event-free survival was essentially the same, the same hazard ratio as you get in the ITT. So I, I think, again, in, as surgeons, we like to be aggressive, right? We're taking a patient and trying to put them through probably one of the more challenging surgeries that, that is offered. So we like our medical oncologists to be as aggressive. <laughs> and so we, we love it when they're willing to, to try to, right. to get patients through that. And I, I really think that Niagara gives people an opportunity to, to get the benefit yes. of the checkpoint to add on to a very tolerable chemotherapy regimen.